Today I'm out at the Mead Wildlife Area in central Wisconsin. Uh, we've been to the Mead uh, many times before. This is approximately 20,000 acres of wetlands that is uh, basically a giant bird sanctuary. So if you love birds, uh, predominantly sandhill cranes, you're going to want to come out to the Mead. But I'm here today enjoying um, a beautiful late winter day here in Wisconsin. And I'm just happy that I was able to get out into my favorite spot. There wasn't too much snow that uh, the, the road was, was blocked and the Subaru made it in here just fine. But today our goal is to um, demonstrate a proof of concept. And this has to do with the, the Porta Performer antenna. Of course, the Porta Performer is an elevated quarter wave vertical with uh, elevated radials. And uh, I've had people ask, you know, can you use different things for your, for your vertical element on, on the antenna? Does it make a difference? And you know what? It really doesn't. And today I'm gonna prove that by, instead of using the quarter wave vertical, we're gonna uh, use these ham sticks with the Porter Performer antenna. So today, I'm building the ham stick performer antenna. Stay tuned, this is gonna be a lot of fun. We are two to one right now, um, probably be okay. In testing this, what I found is if I just change one of these radials, and I found this by accident, but this one little weird trick, if I make this one radial just a little bit longer, Voila, perfect match. 1.15 to one. <laughs> um, ideally, in an ideal situation, what I want, what I would do is I would retune that whip so that it would be resonant uh, with the 10 meter radial set. But I'm not gonna do that today because I got my whips set for my the mag mount I put on the car and I just don't want to go through the trouble of resetting them here and then having to reset them when I use my mag mount again. It's cold out. So if I can make it work by just fiddling with the um, the radials a little bit, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it work. And that's that's okay. Um, it'll get us on the air and um, we'll be we'll be I'll be happy with that. So we're tuned up, we're ready to go on the 10 meter band. Let's make some contacts. Kilo 7 Echo Golf Juliet. Kilo 7 Echo Golf Juliet, 57 Wisconsin, US 4310. Back to you. Roger that, have you here at 58 in Western Washington. Thanks for Western Washington. Uh, you have a great day and take it easy. Kilo. All right, this is uh, Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Uh, the Kilo Quebec 4. Kilo Quebec 4, Zulu India Oscar. Kilo Quebec 4, is it Florida India Oscar? Kilo Quebec 4, Zulu India Oscar, Sensibar Italia Oscar. Zulu India Oscar, thank you. 5-7 uh, Wisconsin, US 4310, back to you. Thank you my friend, you report 5 by 9 and Jupiter Florida, thank you, good luck. Thanks for Jupiter Florida, you have a great day, 7-3. 7-3, thank you. And this is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Uh, Victor, Echo 7, Kilo Bravo 9, Zulu, India, Oscar. Zulu, India, Oscar, Sensibar, Italia, Osc
6, Victor Charlie. Victor Echo 6, Victor Charlie, nice 55 five, Wisconsin, US 4310. Back to you. Yes, I'm Michael, you are about a 5 and 9, 5 and 9 in Alberta, 7 3. Thanks for being out there. All right, thanks for Alberta. It's a beautiful sunny day, so I'm glad to get out in the park. Uh, you have a great day in 7 3. And this is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor, Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Whiskey, Whiskey 7, Charlie Radio. 30 in the log on 10 meters. It's uh, pretty good. Uh, interesting is that um, everything was west of here, definitely west of here. And the average distance of a contact to QSO was about... Oh, in the neighborhood of 2,000 to 2,500 kilometers away. So it's um, beautiful, beautiful 10-meter propagation this morning, uh, almost lunchtime, so, uh, almost noon. So let's switch on oh, down to 15 meters and see what happens in this park. We're going to make the switch to the 15-meter band. So it's going to involve two things. Uh, one, we're going to swap out the 10 meter um, Shark HF stick for the 15 meter Shark HF stick. And then I'm also going to have to change my radials for the 15 meter band. So one of the problems or one of the issues with the Poda Performer is that to change bands you gotta retune uh, the vertical whip um, so that is resonant on the band. By going this um, ham stick or shark stick route we um, eliminate that step so really it's just a tad bit faster to do a band change doing the shark it uh, doing the ham stick performer instead of the Poda performer with the resonant whip. KB9 VBR KWF5 Charlie Whiskey. <laughs> Kilo Whiskey 5 Charlie Whiskey gotcha 57 Wisconsin US 4310 back to you. You are 5959 five, in Texas, just like yesterday. Uh, kilowatt Whiskey 5, Charlie Whiskey, good signal. All right, well, thanks a lot for Texas. Yeah, we're using the same antenna yesterday as today, so um, thanks a lot for the contact. Oh, QSL, we're only using a small magnetic loop here. Small magnetic loop, uh, thank you, 73. Whiskey Victor 3, Victor. Whiskey Victor 3, Victor, gotcha. About a 5-5 five, five, Wisconsin, U.S. 4310, back to you. Okay, well, thanks a lot for the Las Vegas today. I think this is our second band, so uh, thanks for the contact. Yeah, roger, roger. All right, well, uh, you have a great day, 7 3. November Lima 7 Victor. November Lima 7 Victor, gotcha, 5 5 Wisconsin, US 4310. Back to you. Uh, thank you, Mike. 5-1 uh, up here in Alaska. Okay, well, thanks a lot for Alaska today. You have a great day. 7-3. Threes. And this is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Year, QRZ. Kilo Foxtrot 7, Zulu Victor Lima. Kilo Foxtrot 7, Zulu Victor Lima, 5-7 Wisconsin, U.S. 4310. Back to you. Seven, you are a five nine, in the Colorado, five nine in the Colorado. Just to let you know, I'm a QRP station. All right. Well, thanks a lot for the Colorado today. Uh, for QRP, you're doing good. It's an honest five seven here. So uh, thanks for the contact. Seventy three. Have fun. Okay. Another thirty eight in the log on fifteen meter band. Interesting. Um, average distance this time is about. 13 to 1,800 1, kilometers on uh, the 15 meter band. So uh, you can kind of tell the difference between what a, what a signal does when 10 meters, what a signal does on, on 15 meters there. But um, it's working. Uh, the hand stick performer is certainly working. Uh, but really, let's put it to the test on the 20 meter band. 
in testing this configuration I got really good matches on both the 10 and the 15 meter bands uh, with the ham stick antennas as I had them tuned for my um, the mag mount that I normally use these ham sticks with um, but with the 20 meter band I did not I got about like a two to one match in the phone portion of the band but it was it was an excellent it was a it was a one to one match down at the bottom of the of the 20 meter band in the CW and digital portion so if I was going to run data I would just use the stick as is but see what's happening as we go down lower and lower in frequency uh, which the bandwidth is reducing so um, I'm going to have to adjust this whip in order to get a good match in the phone portion of the band but I really don't want to do that but what instead what I'm going to use is this right here this is the whip uh, the TW1 whip from a super antenna um, set up a super antenna mp1 that comes with this little 44 inch uh collapsing whip uh you can get these online they're unobtainium right now unfortunately uh but if you've, you can get your hands on one they're a great little um tool uh what i can do is just extend the whip so that it's approximately um the size of, of, of what my ham stick is and I'm just gonna have to what I'm gonna have to do is um, retract this a little bit you know when we do the tuning the adjusting so um, but it'll be easier to do that on the fly with this little whip than it will be to have to grab out the allen wrench think with the screws out here in the field Okay, let's adjust our snowmobile. It's at one point six seven to one I'd probably take that well I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter It's good enough. It's it's about 1.3 to 1 right now in the uh, phone portion of the band. Um, the, T, the little TW1 telescoping whip made that tuning process a lot easier than me having to fiddle around with my um, um, Allen screws and whatnot in the field. Um, even if I had little thumb, even if I replaced those with thumb screws, it's still um, ten times easier on a on a winter's day. So let's get the 20 meter ham stick performer antenna on the air. It's on the air. QRZ. Ending Mike Lima. The station ending Mike Lima. Kilo Zulu 4, Mike Lima, Paul in Kentucky, have you 57 QSL? All right, Kilo Zulu 4, Mike Lima, thanks for Kentucky. Yeah, you're 58 Wisconsin, US 4310. Back to you. Roger, roger. Thank you. 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three, take care. This is KB9 VBR Parks on New York. QRZ. Kilo whiskey two, four, Delta Kilo whiskey, The Whiskey 2 again? Whiskey 2, Kilo Foxtrot. You're 5-7, five, 5-7 seven, five, seven in Texas today, Mike. All right. Whiskey 2, Kilo Foxtrot. Thanks for Texas. Yeah, you're 5-7 here, Wisconsin. US 4310. Back to you. Yeah, QSL 73. Hey, enjoy your YouTube, YouTube channel. Keep it up. All right. Well, hey, that's uh, great to hear. If you keep watching, I'll keep making. So you have a great day. 
Yeah, 73, thanks. 73, take care. This is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo, Romeo Parks on the air. QRZ. Whiskey Bravo, Alpha, Whiskey Bravo. Ending uh, Whiskey Bravo. Kilo Oscar 4, Delta Whiskey Bravo. Kilo Oscar 4, Delta Whiskey Bravo. Gotcha 5-9, Wisconsin, U.S. 4310. Back to you. Yeah, I copy the 4310. I got you 5-7 in Kentucky. All right. Well, thanks a lot for Kentucky today. You have a great day, 7-3. All right, you too, 7-3. This is Kilo Bravo 9er, Victor Bravo Romeo. Parks on the air, QRZ. 55 Alpha, Sugar, Sugar. November 1, India, Papa, Bravo, Park, Park. November 1, is it India, Papa, Bravo? Roger, Roger, Park, Park. You're 55, 55. Park, Park, number is 4940, 4940. Roger, the 4940, and thanks a lot for the park today. Seven three, take care. This is Kilo Bravo Niner Victor Bravo Romeo. Parks on the air. Last call. Whiskey seven Bravo. Whiskey Alpha. I heard a whiskey seven station. Whiskey Alpha. I heard a whiskey seven station. Whiskey seven Bravo. Whiskey Alpha. Whiskey seven Bravo. Whiskey Alpha. I got you. You're about a five one Wisconsin U S four three one zero. Back to you. Okay, well, thanks a lot for the 5 7 today. You have a great day, 7 3. This is uh, KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air. Last call. Victor Echo 3, Papa Tango Alpha. Victor Echo 3, Papa Tango Alpha. I got you. About a 5 9 here, Wisconsin, US 4310. Back to you. US Alpha 5 9, I've got you 5 6. 5 6, Ontario. Okay, well, thanks a lot for the Ontario today. You have a great day, 7-3. Seven, 7-3, three. Seven, three. have a good one. You too, take care. Um, I'm gonna, I gotta take off here. I got, I got a, I got a visitor. So this is KB9 VB. We're gonna be QRT. So this turned out to be a really good activation today uh, with the Hamstick Performer Antenna. I was really quite pleased with how it, how it worked. Bands were pretty okay. They got a little squirrely, uh, but uh, still, on a 20 meter band, uh, we picked up a good solid 100 contacts. Uh, 15 meters, another 30 contacts. Uh, 10 meters, another 30 contacts. So about a total of 171 contacts in all uh, for the activation. The bulk, like I said, on the on the 20 meter band. So great performance. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, this is now, now I must say, this is not going to be the most efficient antenna out there. And I'm not saying that it is. It's, I'm just proving a, this is just a proof of concept that you can take an elevated ground, or elevated radial system and uh, pair it with just about any antenna with the quarter wave whip, with the ham stick, uh, we could use a coil and a, and a, and a whip of any length. It's all gonna work. <laughs> it really is. Uh, but the ham stick um, the performer uh, worked, exceeded my expectations. And I think something like this is gonna be useful for quick setups and deployments. Once you get it, once you get it set up, uh, the radial's kind of dialed in. Changing bands is actually simpler because we can just remove the one hamstick band and we can put in the other hamstick band in its in its place. And that's the reason why I wanted to, to try something like this. So something I'm gonna use every day? Nah, eh, probably not. Does it work? It certainly does. And it, that's all that's that's what this is all about. Ham radio is all about experimentation, trying something different, and um, knowing, you know, knowing the limitations and why some, you would want to do something like this. So um hamstick performer, who would have thunk? <laughs> um Beautiful day here, 25 degrees, sunny skies. Um, I'm hopefully, hopefully I can get out of here. The snow is getting a little slippery, but um, still. Uh, questions, comments, leave them down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the hamstick 
performer antenna system. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. You have a great day in 7-3.